What's up guys, it is your little star Gray back with another video, back again with another commentary video and today I'm going to be telling you all the situation that involves with a couple of VTubers after trying to do something new and then suffer the consequences by getting banned on YouTube. Now these aren't YouTubers, YouTubers, VTubers that you would know that are popular in social media or in the internet in general, like Iron Mouse and Treya and Yanners, I only know that because of Anthony Padilla's video interviewing the VTubers. These are VTubers that are from a different place, a different region. Region, specifically the Asian region in Japan they thought it would be cool to use the Splatoon ink as a green screen specifically the green ink to broadcast adult films when I say adult films it's not like all oh, action-packed movies this and that I'm talking about like x-rated like rated R rated NC 17 and then after I read this I gotta ask how bored do you have to be to stream an x-rated film using the paint in a popular Nintendo game game franchise just to try something new okay I'm just, I'm just asking I'm trying to understand this multiple vtubers have been banned from YouTube after streaming adult movies in Splatoon 3 by using ink projectiles as a pseudo green screen to show the mature content YouTube and Nintendo took action after vtubers decided to hold a competition that Twitter has since dubbed Splatoon adult video which started trending on social media according to reports the vtubing group Sinsogumi would set Splatoon 3's ink transparency to zero and when they shine the opposing team's ink color and adult video would play over it. Apparently the video was one that VTuber Inachun, one of the participants, had appeared in. I apologize deeply that the Bitcoin ad is being shown on the article but we're just gonna keep it moving. An archive tweet from one of the competitors states that the side that got banned from YouTube would lose the contest, suggesting that everyone partaking knew they were breaking the rules. Automation Media says that Tomaru Ikinone, Kimiko Kikazi, Sigure, Hinachun, Kudoa Katsuki, Sophia Sapphire, Terry Terry Bozu, and Ryotaro competed in the event again i don't understand why this rebellious act quote unquote has to be apparently a competition and even though you knew you were gonna break the rules then why would you continue okay if you knew you were gonna suffer the consequences is it best to just not do it like if you get hit by a stick you're going to expect to feel pain you can't just brush it off i mean i know that's a bad saying but i'm just trying to make an example as to what has happened over here. youtube takes action after vtubers show adult videos in splatoon so far a few vtubers have been banned with ikonune Tomaru and Kikazi Komono's accounts being deleted going to their pages now results in a message that reads this account has been terminated due to multiple and severe violations of YouTube's policy and nudity or sexual content. Many of those involved have issued apologies with leader Ikinone saying I made light of breaking the terms of service and simply jumped at the novel and interesting idea. Meanwhile Sigurus channel was deleted midstream being one of the first to suffer consequences on YouTube. Nintendo also responded to the shenanigans posted to Twitter posting that use that violates public order and morals, acts that intentionally mislead the rules of the game, acts that significantly damage the value of the game or characters and the world, and acts that encourage or take advantage of them will be deleted or legally enforced. It's not clear if Nintendo was directly involved in getting the VTuber accounts banned, but it is clear that neither YouTube nor Nintendo are allowing the activity to continue. This is just a messed up situation, man, alright? And I feel like these people or this group is kind of like like mocking Nux Taku in a way where Nux Taku does these rule 34 competition of asking these people to find the most messed up rule 34 artwork and then win like what five thousand dollars that's just the vibe that I'm getting from reading this entire article but yeah man I just still think it's pretty stupid that they did this and they took it like to the next level and think they were rebellious with it but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope y'all enjoyed if you guys did leave a like subscribe comment down below what you think about the video I'm out